Welcome to episode 1463, Teddy Sagi, From Jail to Womanizing Billionaire. This is an outline of episode 1463. Cyprus for the last 20 years. Many of my companies are located in Cyprus. As Israeli, I would say that Cyprus is my second home. But actually, it's my first home. I live here with my wife and five kids and enjoy our life here. Great Wolf is from diverse activities, but my DNA has always been technology. I am very excited for my project, Pay.com, that will be mainly based in Cyprus, and I believe that it will allow for more employment opportunities and technology investment in this island. He was born in 1971 in Tel Aviv, Israel. His father owned a travel agency. His mother was a cosmetician. He's quite a shady and secretive character. In 1996, he was sentenced nine months in jail for bribery and insider trading in bond prices. How he made his first fortune. In 1999, he founded gambling software developer Playtech. Playtech went public in London in 2006. He later sold most of Playtech. It's estimated he made about half a billion dollars. Then he became a famous womanizer after he made a killing in Playtech gambling stock IPO. Not officially married, he has six children. Second fortune was made in real estate. He invested in Kempton Market in London in 2004 in the amount of 400 million pounds. He's still in the process of redeveloping Kempton Market. His third fortune was made with Safe Charge, which is an online payment processing company based in Bulgaria. In real estate, Sagi was majority shareholder of the company, which is a credit card clearing company for the online gambling industry. In 2019, he sold Safe Charge to Canadian company Nuve for almost $900 million. May 2022, Teddy Sagi is 50 years old, has a net worth of $5.6 billion. Meanwhile, he's also focused on a new project, Pay.com, a group of payments institutions headquartered in Cyprus. Cyprus has long been Teddy Sagi's preferred investment jurisdiction due to its unique geographical location. A little bit of James Bond here. It was almost assassinated in Cyprus. Who sent the alleged assassin and why? And there are several theories, though they tend to contradict one another. Sagi the f believes that this was an Iranian terror plot. Cyprus, on the other hand, discounting Iranian involvement completely. Then Israel, at first, likewise pointing fingers away from Iran, and in the shortly following the initial reactions, Israel officials now changing their tune. The Prime Minister's spokesperson saying that Iran is behind the assassination attempt. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Teddy Sagi, Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.